This morning we are following up on St. Louis's Guaranteed Basic Income Program. Now you may remember this. That's the initiative giving $500 a month to people in the city of St. Louis. It was a big headline mm -hmm. and our Sydney Stallworth is joining us live from City Hall this morning. Sydney, I know that it's been about a year since you first told us how this program would work. Uh, where does it stand right now? Well, Michelle Rennie, that's exactly right. I can tell you we're just over halfway through this 18 month pilot program and I can tell you that St. Louisans are still receiving those $500 monthly payments. That's according to the city treasurer. But after days in court and even a temporary restraining order being granted against the use of ARPA funds for those payments, it's not without its challenges. I checked in with the city to get some updates. Here's what you need to know this morning. Number one, the city has switched to using private funds rather than those federal ARPA funds. A nonprofit actually gave the city $1 million to help fund this program. Number two, the city treasurer says no payments have been missed because of the legal blockage and challenges that we've been seeing. And number three, under this pilot program, the city is still tracking how St. Louis residents are using this money to determine what the biggest needs are. I asked which spending patterns they've seen so far. We were trusting families to make the best financial decision for their household, and we're seeing that play out in the data that we're tracking. So one of the biggest ones, by the way, was grocery expenses. Food is what people are spending that money on. A temporary restraining order still stands, by the way. I asked Treasurer Lane what will happen if the judge ultimately decides to block the program from using ARPA funds permanently and what that means for St. Louisans who are relying on these payments. We haven't been told when the next uh, time we'll be in court is yet. Um, so right now I'm just focused on making sure that we have that continuation of the program and securing additional private funds to make sure we make it all the way to the end of the 18 months. Now the treasurer does tell me that he and his team plan to present their findings to the St. Louis Board of Aldermen at the end of this 18 month program. That should be sometime around June of 2025. They also told me that they anticipated some legal challenges when it comes to these payments. So they had been looking for alternative and private sources of funding for quite some time now, even before that first payment came out. Now he says no matter what happens in court with this temporary restraining order, the plan is to expand this program to even more St. Louisans to give them these monthly payments. That's the very latest from downtown St. Louis. I'm Sydney Stallworth, five on your side.